Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I'm going to play an unfair run today back again. I'm on a bit of a break from the customs. There's a lot of good stuff out there in the custom runs, but learning unfair and picking up hard has been, or picking up hard again has been fun. So I've been focusing on that. So yeah, I've been watching a little bit of Cranberry playing unfair too, talking about the game with him. I know that there's a, a big Google Sheets doc made with uh, collaboration from all the top unfair people and I have been refraining from looking too deeply at that because I want to form my own opinions on these curses. I want to kind of figure it out for myself. It's fairly intuitive I'm finding but you know I have been avoiding it as much as I can. So uh, let's go through these real quick. First of all pretty weak starting team scoundrel prodigy ruffian don't love it i think first 10 curses is not too bad for eight points getting 10 ones is pretty free ones are very often worthless in my experience uh so let's see we need three more points i'm not gonna take any of these caltrops i think caltrops curses are horrible i think they are very bad i think one point burst is okay skulk one is all right monster shields one barricade i'd like to not take a four but here, let me go through each of these. I think that the Caltrops are nevers. This is just too many points. I could play Permadeath potentially in a different situation, but this is too much for six. Uh, we're going to avoid the forest for now and come back around to it. One second, I can close my window. I can hear the freaking birds out there. So loud. Uh, so if I wanted to take three points, I could take a one plus a two. Summoning Circle is an absolutely never. I think in no universe would you ever click this. I think this is like a hell no. Uh, Slippery Dice 2 is probably fine. It's annoying, but can't lock more than two means that you have to roll three at a time or end, which isn't the end of the world. So you could do Slippery Dice plus cooldown burst, but I don't love it with Prodigy in our opener. Rainbow's Caltrops is a never. Monster Rights plus one is basically Summoning Circle, but worse. Left Weak seems really bad. I don't really want to hurt myself in that way. Uh, which is this? This is Essence Thief for the enemies dying equals plus... Uh, what if I play Permadeath Essence Thief? I don't know. I don't know about that one. How about we could do... I'm a little worried about Monster Shields. I think I would play Skulk or Barricade. Maybe Barricade. You could do like... I kind of want to try Barricade, Essence Thief, Slippery Dice. I think that's not terrible. Essence Thief seems worth playing. I think it smooths the game out a ton, and I don't hate Slippery Dice. And Barricade's fine. I've been clicking on it a lot lately. Okay, I'm gonna avoid slow spells, although Archery Training's a little scary. It's not as bad though, because I have the ability to just push enemies back. So you could pick Permadeath Essence Thief there, by the way. I think it's okay. The reason I didn't is that I'm actually a little worried that if I take that, I just lose a character to this thorn. It's a little bit out of my control. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna lock. Oh right, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Very true. Mm, two plus two plus two. I could save the Mystic here, but I think I just roll. Okay, look at that. We saved the Mystic anyway. And then Essence Thief pops off, kinda. I'm gonna hit Gaze. I'm actually gonna hit three Gazes here. As crazy as it may seem, I really need Scoundrel to find a one damage for me. So I don't have to kill someone in this turn. Come on, Scoundrel. Wake up. Scoundrel. So, yeah, let's go! Dude, it's... Okay, it's the fucking... It's the gaze diff. Alright, I like Monk. I do not like Jester. I really don't want to play Jester since I want to be rolling as little as possible. Or no, wait, I want to be rolling a lot. Sorry, I'm mixing this up with Heavy Dice. I do want to play Monk, though. Heavy dice four? Cannot roll more than four dice at a time. Um, minus two less max mana is pretty bad. This is, so cannot roll more than four dice at a time means you have to have one dice locked at all times, which I think is okay. Because you can't lock more than two. So heavy dice two or higher, I think would soft lock me. Not lock more than two dice at a time. More than two, right. And then heavy dice says cannot roll more than four. So it's like, if the heavy dice number is lower than the slippery dice number, that's when your run is soft locked. That's what I believe. 
Like, you can't roll all five, right? Yeah, you can't roll all five dice. I could actually just done rolling this, actually. Now that I look at it. But yeah, I'm really afraid of that shit because I did almost soft lock myself in Fortra. That shit was scary. Essence Thief is crazy, by the way. Super insane blessing. I think it will fall off a little bit later on, but getting value from killing enemies is very strong. That's my hot take for you. Sandra, what are they doing? Tankard Barkskin? I don't hate Barkskin. I think Tankard is whatever. I kind of like Barkskin. Early game is not too bad. I think training is usually pretty bad. I've gone over this a few times. I think it's a little worse than just Skulk 3. Plus one on turn three, though, can be really bad if the enemy that I'm fighting is a boss that has a summon. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take training. Here's the reasoning. I think training is a little bit worse for... Does it need to shield? This can go on ruffian. I think training's a little bit worse for the hallway fights, but easy better for the bosses, because most bosses aren't going to have that summoning sort of deal. So we can pick training here, and... Hopefully, uh, because of Essence Thief, sorry, I had to think this one over for a sec. Because of Essence Thief, we can get away with it, I believe. Kill this rat, or I could do a Scorch. Maybe this Scorch into here. Yeah, that looks good. Like, you see what I'm doing here? Imagine these guys are rolling training signs. Who cares, right? It's a net positive for them, but... I'm gonna bulldoze through a lot of these fights anyway. Does it make the witches easier? It might make the witches easier, come to think of it. I don't like Ranger, and I think I am not afraid of Bramble. Although Barricade makes them a little tough. I have Ruffian for it, so I'm gonna pick up Disciple here. X, Y, Z... Must be equipped. Death is permanent. I'll go plus X, Y, Z. I think death is permanent is a little bit tough, but you can probably put it on Disciple and get away with it. Ah, Ruffian cares. Good shit, buddy. I'll lock this. I think it's good enough. Just have to kill the rat. Yeah, nice and easy. I also have glow, so Bramble's not too bad here. Citrine ring. Mm, probably not. If I had taken rightmost Caltrops, though, damn, what a combo. I don't hate spinach. I think it's okay, but I'm gonna go for a big hit. Learn Flick. Uh, these are both pretty free. Add B is actually kind of a net positive since I'm playing uh, Essence Thief. Normally I would go Sickly there because I think Sickly is super free, but Add B kind of goes off. I am going to roll for it. One to all would be pretty good here. All right, I'm going to stop there. Because one damage cleave is good enough. Yeah, solid for sure. Rogue is okay. The issue of Rogue here is that we're going to be fucking up Barricade pretty heavily, but I think the poison is worthwhile. Three pip pain is a hell no. Big Hitter 9 is really scary into Dragon and the Hand. Um, I need to look at one boss here. These are sevens, okay. And this is, this is like Basalt does kill you. Um, I'm gonna go big hitter nine. I think it has the sl the better chance of not fucking me over. I could random though. Modifier curses. It could give me any generated curse, but like, I already saw slow spell, so I think it can't show it to me again. But I might have already made that mistake. This can't happen. Spiky monsters, worst items, ones, fine, worst. I think uh, maybe it could show me that. Tower four. Most of these actually don't seem that bad.
Okay, I'm going to consider randoming here. I'm actually... I'm just going to send it. Let's see what happens. Mana debt. Plus three. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Was that a generated, by the way? Because it's hard to know what all the generated curses are. Oh no, this is just a rare one. The third spell you cast each fight costs plus three mana. That's not too bad. A little annoying, but we can break out of it with uh, essence. Essence theft. That's what it's called. I should not get in the habit of locking my rogue. I need monk. To if monk hits a redirect here, I just win the fight. Ah, too bad. Well. With Learn Flick, the B is, at worst, a free kill. Great dodge. Uh, I can make the top militia flee. Oh, mana dead. No, I cannot. Hmm. Okay. Well, I should not kill the B for free, then. I should do it like this. Definitely a little bit of a pain, though, that mana debt. I'm not going to have a great time with this. But it should be okay. Once I get a better blue, I think we'll have a better time. I should not lock this cleave. I don't think it's very good. I need to get this guy to run. But he's not going to run on this turn. I'm just going to break out of debt and try to heal a little bit. I can glow. So an X is fine. Not that I can lock it, but an X isn't bad here. This is also fine. I just kill the B to break out of debt. Like the militia, I guess. It's not a big deal. Three more is pretty expensive, though. Like, that's a huge cost. I gotta say. Maybe I was supposed to hit done rolling there and just lock in on all of those X's and hit the glow. That might not have been a bad call. I kind of think you can just do whatever you want in this fight. Like, you can glow here if you want to. I'm going to hold it because I want to use it to make the militia run. Or defend rogue, either way. Kind of crazy that this ruffian is still... He's down, like, no HP. They're just not hitting him, I guess. I don't know. Here's the glow. Dodge. And you'll die to poison. All right. Not a bad fight. You know, they just, they, they're scary, but they don't have any damage to kill me off. This fight's terrifying. Although they do have swords. Blood Chalice for self shield one for each wasted point of healing. I think that's fine with Disciple. Uh, start damaged one of six is not too bad. Cursed Bolt's an absolutely not. This item is horrific. I wonder if anyone has a list of all of the items, including the generated, so like all the curses, including the generated, so I can know with a little more certainty when I should be re-rolling. I'm actually good to hit done rolling here. This hand is really good. This hand. <laughs> uh, I play card games. Did you know that? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm missing a little bit of rogue value here, but it's okay. I'm gonna hit glow so I break out a mana debt. Ruffian kind of popped off here by killing a snake, but yeah, it's gonna look a little scary. I can lock in, actually. I don't know what this prodigy did, but they fucking hate his ass. They are so mad at this guy. shields. I know. I'm just looking. Let me hit done rolling again. Let me try this one another way. I have two mana, right? And I can glow. Oh, I just... I, I see it. I just glow rogue. It's not so bad. It's like glow rogue cleanse ruffian. Even though he's immune to the shield, it doesn't matter. 
and that'll give it to you. Yeah, it's fine. If I don't have the damage to kill these snakes on this turn, I mean, what can I say? Uh, I could say, ah, that is a viable answer if that's the case. It is not the case. Ah, I said it anyway. Disciple, no. I think that this is like the most annoying boss in the game to fight with a uh, barricade. I hate, I, I, no, actually the three witches are really bad for it too. Fiend is pretty grim. I think he's very not great here. Not the, t the worst idea with Barricade, but it's alright. Sinew... He's okay, right? I think he's not the worst either. I don't think I would random here, because I could hit something really bad. Like, uh, Evoker. Hmm. Okay. I'll play Sinew. I think Sinew is passable. Ooh, Martyr's pretty interesting. Probably not great, since I'm going to be going long. I can do uh, Exposed Middle with Monk. <laughs> plus Immune to Shields. Now, Exposed Middle plus Blood Chalice should also do pretty well. I'm going to give the Bark Skin to... No, that's really bad. It's just I'm thinking about that flanking attack on Prodigy, but there's nothing I can really do about it. If you die, you die. Hopefully someone finds the survival I'll find for you. This looks insane. Doesn't this look like a good turn? Guild Prodigy, defend these guys. Or no, probably defend... Like, heal Rogue isn't bad. I don't love this. I think it's not great to exert Sinew here. Although I can glow with him next turn, so you know what? I'll do it. I'm probably going to want to glow to break out a mana dead anyway, so it looks pretty good. Oh, he gets kind of freaky when you mix in uh, Exert plus this curse gets weird. Oh wow, we whiffed. That's okay. No glow for me. It's alright, Disciple, you tried. And Monk can tank it. We got poison on the Slimer too, and we're out of Exertion. Would just have liked to have gotten out of debt there. Uh, cleave is whatever. I would like to do four to the Slimer. For sure. A redirect on Monk is going to be our ultimate play. Like, I'm always going to roll for that, I think. We can go four here. Maybe a... Do you survive if you shield yourself? You do, and then I can glow for Rogue. Okay. That looks good. I would be surprised to lose from this spot. Sure. I can never kill Slime Queen in this position. I'm pretty sure. But I can poison her. Lick the Slimer, which is okay. Now she's dead over a few turns, at least. If I roll a cleave, I can kill her off immediately. It looks very scary, though, doesn't it? It looks rather concerning. I'm not worried. See? No problem. Like I said, one cleave. I didn't think about the repel as a cleave hit there, but that worked too. Ooh, life bolt. Life bolt plus uh, blood chalice sounds like a really nice combo. Skulk 3? I do not like left stick yet. I think this curse is pretty dire. I don't mind Skulk 3, but again, it's like, uh, you don't love it. Left sticky though is like... Actually, you know what? It's not terrible. The only character who really doesn't want it is Monk. Oh, but it fucks up Sorcerer super hard. And I really want to plan for Sorcerer because he makes my life a little better. Not necessarily plan for Sorcerer, but you know. I'll take Skulk. I think it's a little bit better than Left Sticky. Very small amount. 
Honestly, good turn. Kill zombie, poison corpse, redirect on the rogue, or off of rogue. Kill the bee, no reason to take that. Actually, flick, burst, glow. Sure, that seems good. The glow breaks me out. It's just good to not waste the one mana. Getting out of debt on that turn is very worth it. Um... Honestly, I'm done rolling. I think it's completely fine. Good glow here, but two poison stacked up. I can just pass the turn. This turn is the skull turn, of course, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. Could maybe lock in on some X's here and just press glow. I'm in for that. Yeah. This feels really strong. I just press Scorch for lethal instead of glow. Like, I'm doing nothing on these turns and getting away with it. <laughs> no flea, god no. Well, there is a little scary, I think, here. Pairs pretty well with Rogue, though. This, the 5 HP is dire, but... Ooh, yuck. Curse Bolt, 3 Pip Pain. I'm willing to random. Add exert to the two left sides. Okay. Not so bad for Sinew. I'm not a huge fan of that hit, but I think the Cursed Bolt and 3 Pip Pain are both really bad. 3 Pip Pain, I mean, it just bricks our monk for the rest of the run. You really can't play that shit. It's uh, a little bit tough, I think. So, I can live with Exert on Caldera. Or not on Caldera, on Sinew. Not a big deal. Blue, red, yellow, gray. Yellow, yellow, blue, gray. Blue, red, yellow. So I want to go yellow. Plus one, right? Two to the bones. That doesn't look quite right. It's really good to repel here. Uh, I'm good. If Caldera whiffs, it's fine. I'm rolling for a dagger here. Yeah, This is better. I would much rather he rolled the one mana, which is why we took that shot. But I can go like one. And you can go here. That looked pretty good. I think that's a fairly winning turn. I take like a little bit of weaken, but I mean, look at their health. And there's nothing even left alive to contest me. Done. Nice. Great fight. Crystallize. Ooh, that counteracts exert. Super nice. Yeah, I'm down with that. Boodle's not terrible either. Times two versus targets with equal HP to me. This is times two to yourself, basically. I find that item to actually be a lot better than it seems, but counteracting Sinew's exert is so good. That's like really, really nice. Oh, and we're finished with picking up curses, so here's our setup. At the end of the day, I am at minus 21. And that's, but it's actually minus 13 because of the first 10 curses. You don't have to count this eight. Uh, and as a result, we took barricade, slippery dice two, archery training, heavy dice four. So this is can't lock more than two and can't roll more than four. Training, so hero-sized enemies have a 6 XYZ uh, plus 3 HP. That's per XYZ in their, in their name. Add B, third turn or third spell mana debt, start damaged, exposed middle, skulk 3, and weariness. I think the worst curses we ended up with here are mana debt 3 and probably skulk. I think these are the ones that have the highest potential of fucking me over. Because a really bad third turn where they... Like a Hexia summons a second demon on turn three. I think that's our biggest lose condition right now. Otherwise, I think we're kind of just chilling. That seems worth it. I could flick the Wiz. It just heals, though. The Fnatic is getting his health back, which is a shame. But Scalding out two enemies is good. I'm 
unconcerned about this spot. I'll just say that. I mean, look at the sinew, man. He is so good here. This guy's gaming. Really, I'm just shy? Oh, man, I can't get it. Oh, wait, Rogue World will dodge. Huh. What do you know? Good show, Rogue. Didn't even plan for that, it just happened. Hey, look, there it is, the skulk. Good thing it was on an idiot. Alice Stone Ghost Shield. Hey, do you want an unequipable item? <laughs> no. I do not. Oh, roulette. Nice. I don't have a left side replacer. Correct. But she's out of the pool, which is good. Because I don't have a way to play her. And also, I think Warlock is in the running for the best character in the game. He's definitely in the conversation. Oh man, Light, the Life Bolt Monk combo is really good, but min-maxing Warlock's survivability also sounds really good. I'll leave it on Monk for now, I think it's kind of important. But we should tear this fight up. Hmm. It's okay, the 4 mana and the 4 damage I can use to just kill these bones. Give me a sec, this one's gonna take a few attempts to make it make sense to me. Hmm, maybe not, I think there might just be no play. No good play, sorry, I think it is just this way. We're gonna crush this guy on Essence Theft, by the way. Oh, how about I just kill the one that's hitting for more damage then? Doesn't that look a little bit better? Yeah. First there. Probably press glow for Warlock, and then we can put one into this bone so that the other one moves up. Something like that. Oh, he's just gonna spam me with weaken. Thankfully I have stasis on Sinew, which is really helpful for this. Sinew kind of pops off into this spam. Can't really spam him all that well. Uh, I should take the double weaken on the monk here. And just kill off a of bones. We want to localize our taking weakens away, but we don't want to take it off of Sinew because he can't be weakened because of stasis, which I think is actually just going to carry my whole run for a while, is what I'm realizing. Didn't know it when I took it, but uh, also three petrify. You, Sorry, Warlock. That's a toughie for you. You may as well lock this. The issue is that I... Oh, I can't even cleanse. I'm going to be rolling... My main man, Monk. Oh, he could just tank it too. How bad is that? I think it is a little bit bad because I'd rather just cleanse it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd rather just cleanse it. Although if I cleanse it, it's only going to bring me back one side. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to take it off of the Monk. He can deal. In a much more literal sense, he cannot deal, but also I can just kill Lich and have to fight this turn. So that seems viable. Jewel Loop. I snap pick this almost every time. But I don't have Sorcerer. Could go on Rogue. Cantrip 1 mana is pretty good. Crescent Shield is also pretty good, though. But it's not like... It's not that good. I don't have any way to bu buff it up right now. I think I go Jewel Loop. I think Jewel Loop is really good. The ability to just get more mana. Especially in a run where I'm playing Warlock. I think it's very powerful. I roll. I took some time to think about that one. I roll. We can flick the null. Very hard to actually get rid of this slate off the top here. But I can put Monk up to full block. 
the wolves are gonna be trouble. But hopefully on this turn I just make four mana and kill Alpha. Although I think I need to make yeah nine actually to kill Alpha, so it's a little bit harder. I am gonna keep locking in on Disciple for the if we can just lock. Disciple giving four shield to Monk has been very good. I will call it. And I think that this Essence Thief curse or sorry, blessing. I, I think that this was worth the three I paid, for sure. Like, no question. What am I- I'm playing with... Was it- oh, it's the Slippery Dice for this Essence Thief? Yeah, this was like a no-brainer. My retrospect here is I would do this every time without question. Got it. Wow. Uh, Doctor's pretty good. He can put a bunch of regen on whoever has the overhealing effect, too. And having access to cleanse, just nuke out of all of the bad petrify. Very nice. Oh, I took did I take big hit or nine in this one, by the way? No, I did not. Good. What did I take instead? Oh, I randomed into mana that. Okay. Just keeping myself informed. Abreast of the situation. Uh, one one damage to all poison. Pretty good here. Gotta kill War Chief or make an equivalent value trade here. I'd like to kill that basilisk. Realistically, I'm gonna roll it. I did not get mana. That's okay. Got the option to cleanse. I can just double liquor out of this, actually. That seems viable. I can put four on the war chief. Start the snake down his path to death. Although, okay. I could do like a flick on the war chief. Burst on the snake and then a kill on the war chief is viable. That puts our poison output much lower. And I just load up Warlock so he lives. You know what I think I can do in that sequence though? I'm pretty sure I can burst this P. No, I was off by one. Very slight miscalculation. Worth looking for it though, because if there is a line where you can kill that bee off, it's pretty nice. Because then I can put a cleanse into rogue, but I can always just put a cleanse into rogue with liquor later on. Maybe you could flick the bee? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. That one's like, it's a little too in-depth for me. My brain's not big enough for that turn. I just don't have it. Do a liquor. And then a burst perhaps looks good. Happy with that. Yeah, I'm I'm very impressed with the slippery dice heavy dice. I think that heavy dice is probably a lot easier than I originally believed. Because I thought it was really grim when I was first looking around. But Pressing the lock all button has been surprisingly okay. Um, Mushroom Stasis is very strong. This is just a plus one to all sides. But I'm stuck with this exert. If I had room for one more item, the Mushroom Jewel Loop Stasis line goes absurd. Like, instant win the game absurd. But... I think I need the stasis on the exerts. Because who could hold this item otherwise? You could maybe put it on Monk, but exerting cleanse is brutal. Can't go to Warlock. Can't go to Doctor. I guess you could just leave it on Sinew. I'm gonna go Mushroom. I think the Ogre Blood is just whatever. But yeah, so here's the deal. 
it get you give it the plus one, then you put the decay. Decay happens during the fight, so it just won't tick down. It is the stat or the strat. And if I could do one more, I could put this on Rogue and give myself a bunch of two damage mana gain cantrips, which would be very powerful. But it is what it is here. And what it is is pretty good, by the way, for the record here. It is pretty good. That gives me a three on our boy. Do not hate just flick blaze here. Oh, but Sin, you can't just send fours anymore. That's important to keep in mind. I will reconsider. This is definitely one of my flaws in Slice and Dice. In my mind there, I just had to get value out of this tier 7 immediately. We don't need tier 7 value right now. I can chill. It's not that big of a deal. I'm figuring it out. I think I can kill this demon. He's on eight, so I can go... Oh, he's in the back. Yeah, I think I can kill this demon. Clueless. What was I thinking? That's all good. Actually, in this spot, I should probably just liquor this guy. Oh, and if I'm going to do that, I should just liquor him from the start. Yeah, why wouldn't I just do this to begin with? Cleanse the pain, give him 11 shield, redirect warlock, uh, heal warlock, flick imp, one damage to imp. Oh, and then my rogue is dead. Really? Oh, you know why? Because I redirected off of rogue originally. That's why. That'll do. Because the three regen means warlock should basically never die. Two imp spawns is, like, annoying. Not that big of an issue. I'm gonna lock. Uh, seems okay. I mean, <laughs> you know. Sometimes you blaze a demon and then he sits there and looks at you like you're an idiot. Because you are. But it is what it is. And what it is here is fine. It's lethal. He's got to look for it. Uh, Wanderer. Yes. That's really good. Okay. Um, things change a little bit. I'm going to take this mushroom off for now because now it's Wanderer Jewel Loop. We want to, in the end, play Weariness on Rogue. Or not on Rogue, but on someone who is not a cantrip character. And then combo that with the Stasis and probably just let the mushroom sit. Most likely it's going to be a let the mushroom sit sort of play. But if Wanderer can tank some big damage for me here, we can just watch our, uh, our rogue go crazy. You could have gone Stasis Warlock. I think probably it was actually supposed to be Weariness Stasis Rogue so that the, the weaken doesn't get you. Hmm. Something to think about for sure. I don't... Oh man, you know what's okay here, actually? It's just going done rolling. And then going, like, double... Double regen monk. He's taking eight weaken. Um, hmm. But I'm completely dodging all of this. And it's no damage. And he gets four regen on him. It's like probably the right choice. It's just weird, isn't it? But you gotta ex you gotta say that getting up four regen is probably a net positive. And now Wanderer just has to lock in. This is Wanderer's moment. Oh no. Yo, he did it! Let's go! Eight mana. That's my goat right there. Okay, okay, that's a W. 
I never doubted him. At no point did I think to myself, holy shit, this fucking dumbass idiot is about to miss and disappoint me. Uh, you should liquor him here because if you don't, he's gonna go rogue cantrip into shield copycat into instant death. So even though he's losing the HP, it is what it is. Hey, this is the exact situation I was worried about when I clicked on Skull. That's pretty cool. Wow, what a roll. You can dodge this poison, actually. I don't hate it, putting up the poison on Basalt here. He's gonna have two slates walling him in. But... With two poison, he's actually pretty close to dead. Could be a regen angle. Could be a double repel angle. Puts him to four. I don't really like that very much. Monk is fine. I don't think he's all that afraid of dying. I'm gonna roll. Oh, I can't roll. What do you want to lock here? I want to lock... I want mana. So I think I want to lock the... This. I think I'm going to lock the repel one. Okay. That's not the end of the world, Wanderer. Okay, Warlock's dead. I did not get the mana to liquor. That's okay. Uh, a shame, but what can you do? That's basically all there is to say. Uh, I don't think this one is gonna slip away from me. I think I should be okay. I just need some fucking mana, man. There we go. It's fine. It's like you could go super dry here and then lose, but it would be surprising. I'd be surprised if I just missed completely there. It's a shame that Warlock died, though. Holy, it's Flickering Blade M4. Oh, man. That item is pretty good. I gotta say, of the items in this game that come in generated, Flickering Blade M4, a 4 damage copycat sword, is pretty nuts, especially with Jewel Loop. So I could copycat mana gain. Copycat Bloodlust. The issue is that the stasis is over here. So if I exert, like if I roll this, I can't copycat it. Tusk gives a nice little plus one to my doctor. I think it is Tusk, but this Flickering Blade M4... Actually, you know, I could just play this. It's a tough one, though, because you kind of want it on Rogue. It doesn't go on Monk. I don't think it goes on Wanderer. You can go on Warlock, I guess, and then you can copycat Mana Gain if he whiffs. It's not the end of the world. Did both Fanatics just roll set sixes? Well, that's not very cool. The good news is my Wanderer is on here with a plus 11. You actually just go plus 11, plus 6, blaze, blaze, for sure. Oh, I'm getting rocked here because it's archery training. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is an archery training issue. But thanks to my ability to essence thief, I can just go right through the fight. Thank you, Essence Thief. Very cool. Uh, Fencer is awful here. Keeper is very good here. I will play Keeper. The redirects were nice while they were working, though. But Blood Chalice, Life Bolt Keeper is looking good. This is a very nice little combo. And we also get Steel Copycat, which is pretty solid. 
I think that's all right. Oh, wake up, Wanderer. Oh, yeah, dude. This is why I click on Jewel Loop all the time. Sometimes it just wins you the game. Isn't that nice? I lock here. Oh, it happened. Wait, where did the exert come from? Oh, my God, I put it on Rogue. Okay. It's not so bad because it did just kill the zombie, but that is my mistake for sure. Did not see that one coming. Triple exerted my rogue. Gemstone Horned Viper. Horned Viper Wanderer looks like a winner to me. I think we're kind of just coasting right on through to the end here. Yeah, I don't know if I should have picked this. I wonder if I would feel better about the bloodlust over this mushroom. The run kind of ended up not needing it, is how it feels, so hard to say. I need a anything here from my doctor. Oh, good job. If he rolls the exert, I'm a little sad, but I would have to deal with it. Definitely just blowing up the spiker, right? Locking this was a little bit strange, perhaps. Rogue dodging here is meaningless, right? Like, why do I bother? Oh boy, dodge that two damage, Rogue. Teach him a lesson. I'm learning a lesson here, all right. I'm learning... I just want to blaze you. And I can't. And I'm one off. Oh, man. It's fine. You can make your two, two bones. Probably I should have just killed the Wiz since this is a bunch of damage. And if I super low roll on this turn, I could die here. But it's like a minor optimization. A dragon. It's definitely an assassin play. I don't think that's much of a question. Assassin can hold my item here, my item combo. I could just put the exert on assassin and then I could mushroom decay uh, plus stasis on doctor. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think the plus two is very worthwhile. One thing you could do is plus two Wanderer, but I don't think so. He would just eat the heavy attack for you, is why you would go for that. Take the three. Take the four. I could do an engage shield here. I do need to put a little bit of priority on taking out this archer, actually who is hitting my doctor. I want to knock out the caw. And then I'm probably just going to liquor through all of this, huh? I can probably make enough mana to outlast dragon's poison here unless he hits me with another poison next turn. I bet I can outlive this. I'm done with assassin ducking. Four mana is most of a liquor. I'm hoping that I can get a defy out of my wanderer. Nah. I gotta roll for mana. Well, do I need to roll for mana? Let me hit done rolling and take a little look. This is not very good. But I only have one roll is the problem, and like, if I whiff, it's real bad. I don't hate rolling these three, I guess. It's like X, era, X, and I'm in a little bit of trouble. 
Okay, and I mean, this is about the same outcome, so it's probably fine. Hmm, I'm getting mana deaded here, though, for sure. I think I might be losing one. Thankfully, our team has finally hit. God bless. And this was the end game, of course, was just eventually you hit the defy and win the game. Uh, and I, I mean, if I miss forever, so be it, I guess is what it comes down to. If I go super dry on mana game, whatever. But I got it. It's, it's like a, maybe I'll look back on that one and reconsider. But I think that it's really hard to lose that dragon fight. Uh, these curses are basically non-existent in that fight. I'd have to look a little closer, though. I think I should have played turn one a little bit different. I was overconfident. Is this? Oh, I see. I like the icons. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.